Here's a quick video on how to improve the reception on a cheap AM portable radio. Right now I have the radio turned on. It's tuned to a station. It's about 50 miles or so away, and it's during the daylight time, so the signal's very poor. You can barely hear there's something trying to come in. And which way you turn the radio affects the reception as well. There's a ferrite bar in here, which is a common antenna for most portable radios. And uh, with, the in with the antenna aligned this way, it'll pick up best that way and this way. So if you're holding the radio and looking at it, you're looking either towards or away the radio station that you're picking up. If I rotate it to about this position, I am picking up a signal, but very, very weakly can hardly hear him at all. So, to build a booster, and this is a passive device, no power needed, you need a coil of wire, and I wound this around a box, it's uh, six inches by eight inches. I wound a dozen turns on here, you'll probably need more than that, or you're going to need a lot of capacitance, and that's the other part, you need a capacitor and you'll need it to be variable. If you've ever taken apart an old radio, you may recognize this. It's just a bunch of plates that mesh together. This is a variable capacitor. If I connect this coil or inductor to the variable capacitor, I can tune it to be resonant at any frequency I want. And if I tune it to the same frequency that I have the radio set to, it will boost the reception. I've got a usable signal now on a station that I could barely hear at all before. You want to have the coil of the ferrite bar aligned with the coil that you've wound. Ideally, this would be right inside the middle of the coil, but just to place it next to it provides a good boost in reception. You place it here, along the side, lay it on the top, either way. And you adjust this for the best signal. It's very simple. Coil of wire, variable capacitor. If you don't have a capacitor like this, you could either rob one out of an old radio. Uh, you can buy one on eBay for 15 or $20 or more. Or, and what the point of this video is, to show you how you can make your own coil, or own capacitor, to go with the coil. And what you'll need is sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper, just common paper some aluminum foil, and some tape. I'm going to set these two sheets and tape them together to make one long sheet. I went right off the edge and it's stuck to the table here, that's okay. And a roll of aluminum foil, 12 inches wide. If it's bigger, you can always cut it down. And what I have here is a piece of aluminum foil, 12 inches this way, and about 7.5 inches or so wide. I want to have some paper around the edge because we're going to tape it down. You want to have this centered in here as close as you can. It's kind of hard to get it to slide around here, but I'll uh, center it up fairly well. I can check it with the tape measure, see how close I am to the seam between the two pages there. Needs to go over just a little bit. Right about there. We're going to tape it down. Now just so I don't totally bore you, I'm doing this quick and sloppy here. You will want to take your time and make sure everything lays nice and smooth and flat. As you'll see later, the closer we can get one of these to the other, the more capacitance we'll have. And you will need quite a bit of capacitance or a lot of turns on your coil. Okay, I've taped this down. I'm going to pull it loose from the table here where it got taped down and trim those edges off here. And the aluminum foil, I actually cut that with the scissors gives you a much nicer cut than the uh, uh, cutter that they put on the edge of the box you know, that they have here. And when you're pulling on it, it usually tends to crinkle this up. So I just unroll it and cut it off with the scissors so that it comes out nice and smooth. 
Then the next thing we want to do is fold the two wings over, and you want to fold right where this is here. So I'll just make a mark here so it'll make it easy for me to see where it is. If you miss a little bit and it folds over the edge of the foil or the paper folds over further back, it, it isn't terribly critical, but I'm trying to get this as good as I can. So we'll fold that over. Fold that over. And if you had the foil centered perfectly, you'd have a seam right down the middle here, which is where the two sheets of paper were glued or taped together in the beginning. I'm going to take the flaps down. Like I say, you want to make sure everything's flat and square as best you can. And then we're going to fold this so that the exposed piece of aluminum foil is to the outside. And it'll fold right along where you tape those two pages together. And that's half of your capacitor. You're going to make two or more of these. You need at least two of them. So here's half of it. I've already made some up. I end up just meshing together like this. And everywhere you have an interface between one piece of foil and the other, which would be here in the center and here, we're going to have capacitance. And the closer you put this together, or the more you squeeze it down, the more capacitance you'll have. And more capacitance tunes you lower in frequency. So I'm going to take my coil, and I marked arrows on here that shows me the signal's going to be that way or this way, and I know my station that I want is in that direction. I'm going to set the radio back on here and turn it on. And I could just barely hear a signal coming in right now. And I'll use this clip to attach to the foil. If you don't have any little alligator clips, a paper clip would work, or you could strip the wire bare, lay it across here, and use your stapler to attach it. Just as long as you get a connection. Well, I'm starting to You just move them in and out. You find the right spot to perk up the signal. Yeah, that works. And when you're lower in frequency, you need to have this meshed closer together. And you may not have enough capacitance, unless you add a lot more turns, you can add more capacitance by taking two more of these, you already have made up. I'm going to mesh them together, put them over here, I'm going to clip onto both of these, and clip onto both of these. I've got much more capacitance, so I could tune down closer to the lower end of the AM band. I'll obviously have to pull it apart much further to get my signal, but you find that sweet spot, signal perks right up. And that's all there is to it. It's almost like magic.